YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja Guitar Ningeki Star Sword Gun. So this is the main weapon for Star Ninja, as evident by him being plastered all over the package. And as the name suggests, it is a sword and a gun combined to resemble a guitar. America. So, uh, it's a pretty interesting weapon that was released in May 2015 alongside the Ninja Star Burger for about 4,500 yen or so, give or take, depending on where you picked it up from. And as evident in the corner here included with it is the Furai Nin Shuriken, uh, Star Ninja's main attack shuriken. Just like the normal ninjas have the Goton Nin Shuriken, they, uh, he has the Furai Nin Shurikens. We'll take a look at that as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. Alright, so here we go. Real quick look at the Furai Nin Shuriken, which uh, kind of keeps the whole five-pointed star uh, motif that all of Star Ninja's stuff has, uh, but done up a little bit more like a traditional Ninja Star. Uh, so it's kind of neat. It operates very similar to the uh, Goton Shuriken, except it, instead of turning, it actually has this little flip lever. So this one right here is Kaze, um, Kaze no Magic, as it says, and we'll take a look at that uh, in a minute. But uh, you can kind of see the whole tornado aspects on there, even though it says Hurricane in there, but that's fine, whatever. And if you flip it, Kaminari Magic uh, being lightning. We know that from Kyoryuger. <laughs> uh, so you got the lightning bolt uh, right there. And if you press the button on the back, you can get a sneak peek at the sound. Some thunder and a guitar riff. And if you flip it back over, it'll hit this little button right here and activate the other sound. Kaze Magic. And... That sound right there. So pretty uh, simple overall. Here is the guitar Ningeki Star Sword Gun. And as you can see, as a guitar, it is a sword, it is a gun. It is everything you want it to be. Uh, it, it's all right. Uh, it's a pretty small size overall. I feel like if it was just a gun, it would be a pretty great size, actually. Uh, but being a sword as well, the sword aspect of the toy obviously... Uh, loses it quite a bit. Here is the uh, Ichibanto, which is a hair longer than the Star Sword Gun from hilt to tip. So it's a, it's a pretty small size. It's not necessarily bad because I think the the gun mode um, ends up looking kind of okay, but. It's it's still pretty small, as most Bandai Japan weapons are. You got the flame decals all throughout here, just like all Ninja weapons have to have. They have to have the flames to carry on. Uh, so, it, it, it's pretty basic. You got a trigger here for the sword, trigger here for the gun, and that is really about it. The shirt kit goes right here, and it spins around, and that is your final attack button right there. Uh, two AAA batteries go right here thanks to the help of the Phillips screwdriver. If you turn it on, a very simple turn on activation noise. No telling of the item or anything like that. Just a simple bing uh, will do. Without any shuriken inserted you do get one slash sound. And one shoot sound. And that is about it. You can hit the final attack button. But you're not going to get anything special without a shuriken uh, inserted into this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. If you attach the Furai Nin Shuriken, you'll get absolutely no sound whatsoever. Uh, but you can go ahead and spin it. So it doesn't change the actual attacks, but if you spin it, you will get sort of the uh, the cyclone-esque sort of sound. And it will say Hurricane Ja, which made me think that, oh, they're relating one to Hurricane Ja and one to Cockroach Ranger. But no, it's just because a hurricane and wind and stuff. It, it really threw me for a loop there. But uh, one more time. 
And if you flip it, and do that. Then we'll say Thunderjaw and do that sound. So, pretty simple. The alternates rely in the uh, final attack. So, if we hit that button, spin it. You'll hear the standby sound, which is really cool. So the thunder element won't add anything to the actual ninja slash attack, but uh, the the pre part will do the little spinny uh, additional sound. And of course you can do ninja shoot as well, or shot, I don't remember which one it says. And the thunder variant. And there we go. That about covers everything that you get right out of the box. You can go ahead and attach the uh, Star Ninja Shuriken for an additional sound. And for the slash. So if you didn't quite understand that, because it is quiet and honestly hard to make out, it says, I am a star, and then that's really about all it does. It makes a little explosion sound and stuff. But uh, it, it, it's pretty simple, but it's at least something additional. And if you really wanted to... actually fits quite well. So overall, I just feel the Star Sword Gun is just kind of okay. I like the Fudai Nin Shuriken quite a bit. Its flip gimmick is really cool, a nice alternate take on the Goto Nin Shuriken's uh, rotation gimmick. But the gun itself, or sword itself, or sword gun itself, is just sort of okay. It, uh, the sounds are kind of neat, and overall, I like the concept of the guitar weapon. It uh, reminds me a lot of Shurikenger himself. But it just doesn't offer a whole lot of playability. If you've been collecting all the shuriken, then it's sort of a necessary pickup to get the Furine in shuriken. But if you're just kind of casually collecting, it's a pretty easy pass unless you just really want Star Ninja's whole arsenal. But um, I would wait for it to go on some sort of clearance to get the most out of your money because 4,500 yen for it just seems like a little bit too much. So thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.